trombones, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna review Accent Book 2, page 30. The concept of today's page is in the center of the top of the page. It's two very high notes for us on trombones. Our F in first position, which is sitting above the second ledger line, and our high E natural in second position, which is sitting within that second ledger line. To practice those, our first exercise is called the outer limits, and it's gonna take us up to those high notes. If you need to, grab a pencil and mark those high notes so that you won't miss those slide positions. First for the F, and second for the E natural. I've got my metronome set at 70 beats per minute, and our first note is B flat. Here we go. And one, two, ready, Go. Great, let's try that one one more time to really get practice reaching those high notes. Remember, you need good quality air coming out and we're gonna pull our corners back and make sure that air is going straight through to our trombone. Here we go, one more time. The outer limits. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> Our next piece is Now is the Month of Maying duet. I'll start by playing part A. You can join me and play part A, or you can play part B and make the duet. This piece is in cut time. One and two and one and two and. Remember, cut time means the values of the notes are cut in half of what we commonly know them as. So quarter notes, that usually get one beat, will now take on a sound like eighth notes, half of a beat. We're also in the key of F major, which means we only have one flat, B flat. All our other notes are natural. Here we go. I'll give you one and two and one and two. Bum, ba, dum, there it is. One and two and one and two. <laughs> Now the bottom part. One and two and one and two. Next, number 109, La Donna Mobile by Giuseppe Verdi. This piece is in 3-4 time, and it's got three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. It's got a repeated first line, so we'll play that twice, and then the second line has a crescendo from mezzo piano to forte. Here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Thank you. 
Take the time to pause this video and work that piece on your own with the metronome if you've made a few mistakes. Then come back and review it again with me. Our next to last piece is the Soldier's Chorus from Faust. This piece by Charles Gounod is in 6-8 time. And remember, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for 6-8 six, time. I'm going to change my metronome to 110, but these beats represent the eighth note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This selection, number 110, also I want to point out, we'll use the two notes at the top of the page, high E in second and high F in first. Those notes are on the second line and they're in the middle of that line. So take a pencil and mark them if you need to. Our first note is a dotted half note. In 6-8, that gets six whole beats. Here we go, F. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Three, ready, set. <laughs> How did you do with that high notes in the second line? If you're starting right in the middle of line two, your notes are C, D, E, F, three, one, two, one. Practice that, that small set of four notes a few times, climbing the higher and higher in the pitch, and that'll give you some practice on that small component. Our last selection is from The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky. This is a very common and recognizable theme, and hopefully you've heard it. Join me as we play number 111, the March from The Nutcracker. It's in common time, and I'm gonna set my metronome at 80, which isn't exactly allegro, but it'll give us just enough speed to be able to move our slide in the positions for those dotted eighth and sixteenth notes that are pretty apparent in the second line. Here we go. One, two, B flat. One, two, ready, and. I hope this has been helpful. I hope that you've learned a little bit about those high notes F and E natural. You've learned your triplets and you're applying it all throughout the whole page. Remember, you can always use this video as many times as you need to. 
But until I see you again, keep practicing.